YouTube, what's the deal, man? It's Odell103. Thank you for watching my videos. Follow me on Twitter. Hey! So today, 2K dropped a lot of info, man. It dropped some info on Facebook. Mike Wayne dropped a lot of tweets and everything talking about badges, mechanics. It's a lot of information, man. But first, I'm going to talk about what's in the background. So um, in one of my last videos, we did a post rise dunk contest, and I made a 60 overall uh, pure uh, sharpshooter just to see if Slasher Gang can dunk on a 60 overall. What is the contact dunk like when trying to dunk on a 60 overall standing under the rim? And the results wasn't that good. If you was at the dunk contest, the results wasn't that good, bro. It really wasn't that good. But there is hope for us, and I'm explaining it in this video. For 2K20, there is hope for Slasher Gang, man, for the contact dunks, all right? So 2K has a new motion sensor upgrade. So basically, they uh, studied the real speed of NBA players, man. So you should notice the difference between, like, a big and explosive guard. So that's what they said, man. So that's good for slashers, man, because we usually have a lot of speed and agility, so we can use that to our advantage. They also made upgrades to dribbling. They say this every year. Um, they changed the dribbling. But um, basically, it looked like it's going to be freestyle dribbling. Ain't going to be no more flick the right stick up and then they do like a, a dribble uh, combo for you or a size up, anything like that. It, it looked like it's going back to 2K15 type dribbling or 2K16 type dribbling. No size up, all freestyle is all you. Right, and they have some different type of styles in there. For they got one that's named Slasher, so it's a, an explosive type dribbling style, right? But it looked like it's gonna be freestyle. Now, Slasher is in essence part defender. We get silver defensive stopper as a pure slasher. So, as you're guarding, guarding a ball handler, right? You see an arrow under him showing which way he's gonna go. I don't know how helpful that would be, but we'll see. Um, and also, when he gets tired, right, there's going to be a circle up under him. It's going to be solid if he's not tired. But once he's more tired and he runs out of stamina, that circle will break up. And that means that he's more vulnerable to steals and bump animations. So that's good right there. If you follow me on Twitter, you would know that already. So follow me on Twitter if you're not. So they got new off-ball jukes. You've seen that in the uh, trailer. Um, it could be useful for slashers getting to the rim, but you know you got to have a good point guard or somebody that's not selfish to pass you the ball on the cut or throw you the lob. They also have new animations for screens. So it's easier to get around screens and navigate through screens and stuff like that. Um, they moving away from that uh, left, right, behind the screen over and over and over type thing. So we will be able to play better defense around screen. So that's good. Badges in takeover, all right? Uh, they got 80 uh, new badges. They reworked every single badge, bro. Every badge. So badges are not going to be the same, bro. You got to really read the description and everything like that, man, because they changed every single badge all right and affecting it and the overpower badges they said that the overpower badges has been nerfed all right so and the overpower takeovers have been nerfed. all right so that post score animation i believe when you elbow the dude and all that type of stuff i believe that is gone we don't know yet but um what's overpowered to 2k we don't know man but yeah and also they have this is for slasher game right here for me they have neighborhood specific badges to enhance the physicality and flashy play of the playground so they have badges specific for playground i believe it was in 2k17 so for flashy play right so you're talking like dribble gods and for slashers What's flashy for us? The only thing that's flashy is catching bodies. Hopefully, I pray to the 2K gods that they do have a badge for contact dunks to up the percentage on the contact dunks because you know that's completely out of our hands. That is RNG, and you mostly catch bodies in takeover. So you have takeover, and then if they have a contact dunk badge, Call 1-800, wrap it up. We're back in the game, boys. We're back in the game.
Now, tweets from Mike Wayne himself. This one just came in about 20 seconds ago, right? From Mike Wayne. Posterizer is gone. It's gone. <laughs> 2K20 will have contact finisher. This will help dunkers posterize people, but also help smaller players who play below the rim with contact. Already we retweeted this. We got to test this out immediately. In a demo, if we able to play in a park, we doing a posterizer dunk contest right off the rip. Soon as I get this badge, Posterizer dunk contest. We gotta see what this what this thing is about. If it's, <laughs> bruh, I really hope this badge is about something, bro. I really do. Because come on, man. LeBron James fast break, and Chris Paul decides to get under the rim. One hundred percent, no debating. What you think gonna happen? You see it in the video, man. You got slashers with. Hall of Fame badges, 99 contact dunk, trying to dunk on the 60 overall. And they barely can do it. Sometimes they can, but they barely can do it. So, man, I hope this really, I hope they made improvements, bro. I really hope this badge really worked. Okay, more tweets from Mike Wayne from earlier. Uh, oh, the OP animations have been toned down or removed, right? I talked about that earlier. So, um,. We got to see what's been toned down, bro. Um, he also says, there are always new animations added. A few rebounding badges. Rebound chaser. Helps chase long rebounds, right? And then it's a badge called worm. And it helps get around box outs. All right. Box makes it tougher for worms. So, um, basically, this looks like hustle rebounder split in two. So, th th this is what I'm going to say. So, LD2K uh, talked about it before and said that it's easier to um, hit 99. This in 2K20. From what I'm seeing, it seemed like they put more grind towards the badges and less grind towards attributes. Right? So, that's what it looked like they doing, bro. But um, this is basically Hustle, hustle Rebounder split into two badges bro so it's more grinding for the badges right so he also says uh somebody asked something about green lights right we could um everybody see the green light if you get a green light or not and he says everyone no more lying about greens so what that means it might mean that you know i can see if you hit a green or not if it's a green light or not you can't fake the greens no more supposedly we don't know we'll see when the game comes out bro it's um let's see what else he's talking about he said anchor breakers is still the main badge for more effective step back dribble moves now i've been noticing man you know you get the, the cpu with the step back um the snatch back the snatch back is op bro but he said it's a new badge called Space Creator for more effective step back jumpers. All right. So that's a new badge. He's dropping jewels, man. And then somebody asks about post hooks, right? Is it a badge for post hooks for the post scores out there, man? You know I'm making a post score, bro. He said, yeah, it's called Deep Hooks. It's the Kareem badge. The Kareem badge? All right, cool, man. We got so that so we gotta have we got a badge for hooks. We gotta have a badge for post phase. Call one eight hundred, wrap it up, bro. Call one eight hundred, wrap it up. My post score finna go crazy, man. It's finna go crazy. You know I go hard with the post score. I just played somebody yesterday. One of my subscribers pulled up on me, and he ain't know about the post phase, but. He, he sent me invite to the party, man. And he was like, yeah, I see what that post fade about, man. I see what you mean when you made the videos, man. Make sure y'all watch my video, especially on the rebounding. Um, I'm probably one of the only YouTubers that put out a uh, video about in detail about rebounding, bro. So if you want to get up on that information, they might change some things or whatever. But if you want to understand rebounding, bro, and that uh, worm badge and everything... Hey, bro, check that video out, bro. It's in detail. 
All right, so somebody asked about speed boosting, and he said he's not a fan of the term speed boosting, but first step launches are now tied to speed with ball rating, not ball handling. There are three tiers of ball launch animation packs that can be that can play faster or slower based on your rating. All right. He also says slippery off ball badge gives you more success with the new off ball juke moves. So that's good. Now somebody asked about is uh, volume shooter coming back. Um, volume shooter is back, but with better logic. Boost your rating if you can maintain your fatigue slash per minute. So basically, if you use a lot of stamina when getting open for a shot, or if somebody got bruiser and keep bruising you up, if you a shooter, you might just miss that open shot if your fatigue is 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 lagging. You know what I mean? So that's a huge change for shooters, man. All right, so Agent asks a question about is there previous is there badges returning from previous 2Ks like post fade? And um, Mike Wayne says uh, there's smaller uh, smaller players can equip giant slasher, and it will help them score at the rim amongst the trees. So that's separate from this new badge that's replacing uh, posterizer. It looked like they split up the posterizer badge, and you know what I mean. So, yeah, man, giant slasher for smaller players, bro. That's crazy. He also says you can see the percentage of your, uh, like, a good shot, like, from a shot contest. It'll be, like, if it's a, I guess, a percentage, I guess. So, that's something new. Um, somebody asks, um, is there a badge called a f- first step badge? He says, yes, it's called quick st- quick first step quick first step badge i guess it's gonna be a triple threat badge that's dope all right this one for slasher gang somebody asked that uh was saying that contested layups still falling at a at a alarming rate so they missing right so uh, mike wayne says layup defense is very different this year getting a lot fewer complaints about layups missing that shouldn't and vice versa when you miss a layup this year it usually feels deserved all right so i guess they made improvements bro we really don't know hopefully what he's saying is true and he also tweets that basically they got rid of charge card it was one of the badges that nobody wanted it was a useless badge nobody really used it so they got rid of charge card is no more no more charge card and also free throw ace is gone he says free throws are back to being an attribute that you can upgrade free throw ace is absolutely gone bro it's out of here all right somebody asked about non dribbling builds and force ball pickups on big man and scott og one of the vet one of the uh devs said yes they will have significantly low cuts big man like stops etc so and then also mike wayne said the body up system didn't support this very well in 2k19 it will work much more uh reliably this year so yeah man big man i i hope it's the catch one of one of the animations is the catch and shoot animation for the big man because they get a lot of space when they catch the ball off of like getting open it, it creates a whole bunch of space man but i guess it's gonna be slower for the stretch big man so we'll see we will see all right now a couple of leaks not confirmed but a couple of leaks saying that there's a deep fade badge for post fades there's gonna be a interceptor badge that's coming back and also they're saying that uh uh bigs are gonna get ripped easily um on a perimeter if they decide to dribble and stuff like that man and also they said uh rookie mode rookie mode may be back in my career now it's just rumors i don't know if it's true or not but i'm just letting y'all know this stuff might be back in the game but that's it from your boy odell 103 make sure you drop a like share and subscribe and i'm out